Alright, hey guys, what's up? Welcome to TSK Tutorials, and this is another episode of Unity Quick Tips. Today's Unity Quick Tip is going to be going over what the local global button does. I don't really know what the exact name of this button is, but I call it the local global button because, as you can see, inside of Unity, it's located uh, throughout all of Unity, it's located in the top left hand corner of the screen uh, next to. Uh, these buttons here so here it is it either is going to say local or global and it toggles back and forth like that so what the local global button does is basically it rotates let me um, click on this so that you can see the arrow that I'm talking about the um, X Y and Z movement arrow arrow where uh, Y is green um, blue is Z and red is X um, so you use that to drag around uh, your game objects in your scene. Um, so what the local global button does is it rotates that uh, tool, and same goes for the rotation tool and scale tool. It rotates those tools uh, either in the direction, if you have it set to local, that that game object is facing, or it is going to line up with the... Um, local or the x y and z of world space as you can see by this little whoops uh symbol in the top right hand corner of the uh scene view so as you can see uh right now if i set it to uh global um the actually here what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh rotate uh the gun and then i'm going to move it this way a little bit and then I'm going to set it to local. I'm going to have to move a little bit so that you can see. Um, so as you can see, now we have uh, the blue arrow, the Z arrow pointing this way, and the um, X arrow pointing this way. So if we compare that against this symbol in the top right hand corner, uh, it, the blue arrow is almost going 90 degrees away from the world space blue arrow but if I have let me actually move up a little bit so that you can see better if I set it to global then these arrows see the blue arrow here and the blue arrow here line up once again that is because the arrows are lining up with global space and not local space now this is useful for a couple of different reasons uh, the first reason is just moving objects around in your scene and just doing your level design and setting things up um, sometimes you want to move things on a diagonal and move with the way that that object is facing. Uh, take, for instance, a turret or a spotlight or, um, I don't know, just something like that where you want to move and slide along uh, with where that game object is facing. But what if you want to keep everything perpendicular to each other and keep everything nice and straight in your level and you want to move things and your objects have crazy rotations but you still want to move them and rearrange them in a perpendicular, very organized manner. Then you would set it to global and then you can slide everything along uh, the X, Y, and Z axis of world space and keep everything organized that way. Um, the other thing that it's useful for is when you have it set to local, you can visualize the variables transform.forward, transform.up, and I believe transform.right um, when inside of the code. So basically what you're doing there is uh, transform.forward is always going to be the blue Z arrow. Um, so when in the, uh, if you put a script on a game object and in that script you write down transform.forward, it's going to access the transform of the game object that, that script is attached to and then it's going to return you a vector 3 that's pointing in 3D space in the direction of that blue arrow. So you can use it as a way of visualizing uh, where you want uh, things to be facing and it's really useful for things uh, like bullet spawns and you want to make sure your bullet is going to spawn in the right direction uh, because you're going to want your game object to spawn bullets or whatever you want to shoot uh, in the direction based on how that object is rotated and not based on world 3D space because say for a, tur for a turret that's going to be looking around and stuff like that uh, that blue arrow is going to change and you don't always want it to shoot in the blue arrow I mean uh, that it wouldn't be able to aim that way. It would only be shooting in one direction. Uh, you want it to be able to rotate. So that is just one way of visualizing it and lining up, for example, an empty game object where you copy the position for when you're instantiating, bu instantiating bullets, when you copy the position and rotation to make sure it flies in the right direction. So hopefully now you know why that button is useful and uh, what it does. So yeah, until my next episode, I'll see you guys later and keep making games. Thank you.